Welcome to our review on plant diseases. So just like we've had a look at the diseases in humans, we now need to do the same thing with plants. So we're going to have a look at a viral, a bacterial and fungal disease that occur in plants in turn. If we start off with the viral disease first of all, then we're looking at tobacco mosaic virus or TMV. Now a plant that's suffering with TMV will have these mottled or discoloured leaves and the reason that they've got those is that the virus actually prevents the chloroplasts from forming. So as you can see on the picture on the right there, you do have that little mottled effect and the discoloration there with the brown patches. When we've got fewer chloroplasts, the plant's going to be able to trap less of that sunlight energy, therefore will carry out less photosynthesis. So we also see stunted plant growth and reduced yields. In order to prevent the spread of TMV, we need to remove the infected plants, wash hands and equipment between plantings to prevent it spreading from one to another, and if you have had an outbreak of TMV in a particular area, then plant a TMV resistant crop the following year so it can't reinfect on that next cycle. The second disease we're going to look at is a bacterial disease of our plants, and this one is called crown gall disease which is caused by the bacterium Agrobacterium tumefaciens. So any plant that's actually become infected ends up with these large growths around it. So if you look at the picture on the right, you can see in the middle there, there's this lump sticking off the side of our plant. The way that this happens is that our bacterium is going to enter through a wound on the plant. And what it does is it integrates this plasmid into the plant genome. And what happens as a result of that is it produces greater growth chemicals. So what we end up with is a larger amount of the growth chemicals being produced in the plant, which leads to these basically large lumps or growths off the side called a gall. Now, the downside of that is if it encircles the whole stem or trunk, it can cut off the flow of sap, which means it's gonna have stunted growth and potentially death if it's occurring low enough down on the plant. To prevent the spread of this, we need to destroy the infected plants and avoid planting any susceptible plants on that same area for two years to actually enable that bacteria to die off before giving it another potential host. The last type of plant disease we need to look at is a fungal disease. And the one we're going to use as our example is powdery mildew. Now this can be caused by a range of fungi depending on which plant we're talking about. So you get barley, powdery mildew, etc. Now the effects of it are this white powdery spots on the leaves and the stems, as you can see in the top right picture there. What we also see is it's got reduced growth and the leaves are going to drop early, so we get a reduced yield as a result of that. Now, because this is a fungus, it likes high humidity and moderate temperatures. What we also find is it's not just going to die off in a very short space of time because it can actually survive on plant residues between those seasons as well. And it will release spores which can be spread by wind to other plants. In order to actually prevent this spread, we need to spray it with a fungicide. And hopefully you remember fungicides are chemicals which kill fungi. Hopefully at the end of this video, you can describe a viral plant disease, a bacterial plant disease and a fungal plant disease, along with their symptoms and how the spread is prevented.